Hello, in this video we are going to talk about Azure uh, Web App Services. So Azure Web App Service is a platform as a service. Um, in our last video we did an infrastructure as a service and we deployed our first static website but we had to install IIS to uh, deploy our static website. <coughs> in this video you will learn how to deploy an Azure Web App Services for a static website and then uh, we will also uh, see the differences between uh, how much faster the Azure Web App Services can be uh, compared to your infrastructure as a service. So we are logged into our Azure portal and from which we'll start creating our resource and resource group. So um, as, as I said in my earlier video, over here you will be able to find all the services uh, that Azure offers. So we'll click on all services and there it will pull up everything. Here in the filter we're going to search for app services. And as you can see, this is the option that we will select um, app services and as we don't have any app services it doesn't show us anything so we're gonna click on create uh, or we can use this button to create uh, let's go ahead and click on the create and it will take us to uh, an entire process of creating uh, the uh, resource group and our Azure Web App Service so over here we're gonna create a new uh, group we're gonna name it as static web app click on OK and then we would need to name this uh, we would need to give it a unique name um, so we are gonna I'm gonna name it as uh, static web app Andy Patel and it verifies that it's a unique name uh, over here, publish. Uh, we have three options. We have code, in which we we'll, uh, in which Azure allows us to select uh, what type of code are we publishing, and it will make sure that runtime is installed and you don't need to configure or do anything. It's showing us: do we plan to use a Docker container? Then we can do that or do we plan to create a static website so for our demonstration purposes we are going to create a static website and as you can see it's saying we need to click on create over here we'll uh, click on create and then okay it's going to redirect us to a static website creation process so again we'll go through the same process let's uh, name it as azure web app static Click on OK. Uh, give it a unique name. Um, I'm going to say static website Andy Patel. And then hosting plan. Which hosting plans do you want to prefer? Is it just for a free personal use or a hobby or a standard? If you click on standard, it allows us to click, uh, choose certain type um, and um, there are some limitations with the free version right now. If you um, uh, if you're using a standard paid version, then uh, you can choose the different type of uh, size uh, depending on how faster you want or how bigger your site will be. But for our demonstration purposes, we're going to say it as a free for hobby or personal project. Uh, Azure Functions and uh, Staging Details, uh, where where do we want to have this uh, at? Uh, I'm going to choose Central US. Uh, we can choose either or. Now, uh, we can connect, we're going to use a GitHub. GitHub is a, a source control software um, and it allows us to have a several different version, uh, see the history of the website and stuff like that. So on my other tab, I have a GitHub repository in which I had create, uh, created an anti-static website repository in which I have one single file that's index.html and it says anti-test website 3. So uh, what we're going to do is deploy this website with our um, 
uh, with our static web app. Now I had already connected my Azure, my GitHub account with this, but if you don't have it, you can click on this and then go through the process. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to uh, ask for the credentials. You enter the credentials and it saves that information. Once you have your GitHub account connected, it's going to ask for which organization you're looking in for. So uh, we're going to keep it Andy Patel end to end. And then it will list you all the repositories that you have in your uh, organizational account. Uh, I'm going to select Andy Static website as that's the website that we are going to use. And there is a branch that uh, we want to deploy. So we select all that process. And then uh, it shows us more information. Uh, are there any build present uh, presents so preset so uh, over here you can see that um, do you have an angular web application or anything else we don't have any uh, we are not using any frameworks or anything it's a same simple uh, HTML website so once we fill all that information up we can go into the tags in tags um, as we have already done well, we'll do create by and purpose uh, click on test and then click on next review now we are reviewing that hey everything that uh, that we selected is um, is correct and then we click on create and it's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and do the deployment of the static website so as the deployment progresses um, we can see it's done it was pretty fast so I'm going to go into the our resource group um, Azure Web App Static and I'm going to try to refresh it one more time and I believe it would be going to the deployment process right now it might take a second to show up the resource here but once it is available we would be able to see our web app uh, and um, access that I'm going to try to say go into the more activities to find out if the deployment went through or not but currently it doesn't show. Um, I'm going to um, uh, resume the recording once uh, the site is available. All right, so a few minutes has passed by and uh, uh, I was just checking to see if uh, our uh, site is deployed. So I'm going to go into the resource group and then I'm going to find out our resource group Azure Web App Statics. Um, and then, okay, there is our site. I'm going to click on it and as you can see uh, this is our URL once we click on it we're gonna see our website that's our website now here is the cool thing we go to our github account we open our file and we make modification and I'm gonna change this heading from Andy Patel Andy text uh, website test website 3 to tech academy Vision portal mobile okay and commit changes and now we are going to go into this actions what this does is it is going through building your website and putting your website to your server in behind the scenes so um, as you see, we refresh. It still says Andy Test Website 3. And once this process is completed, it will automatically up, uh, update your website. Now, if we were using infrastructure as a service, it would be a manual process where you will get the information, uh, you'll get the file, and then you would have to update the site. Here, everything is automatic you don't need to have a downtime you don't need to need to worry about the deployment because once you have approved the changes those changes are done and it automatically gets updated to your server and you're not responsible for installing the runtime or no manual work is required so let's try to go ahead and refresh and it's still in the process as you can see it's circling out so we're gonna give it a few more uh, few more seconds and uh, and it's done all right so let's go back to our website and we'll click on refresh there we go it is updated so 
as you can see the platform as a service can save you a lot of time um, as well as a lot of resources uh, from the server management perspective um, and such all right so there there are a few other configurations that I wanted to talk about for static website in static website on the left high, left hand side menu you can see the custom domains so what does that custom domain means let's say a domain name you have um, your own uh, custom domain your own domain like techacademy.com uh, and you wanted to point that domain towards this so someone goes to Tech Academy we wanted to have this web page pull up in that event we can do the configuration that allows us to do it so we can click on use a domain on other DNS because my domain is registered with uh, one and uh, one and one or I believe Bluehost uh, so I'm gonna click on that custom domain and I'm gonna say this is my domain and I want to point it towards this website now it gives you the instruction what you need to do you can there are a few options that you can select from and then once it gives you that information you put that in your domain account and uh, once you go to your uh, domain after that like this it's gonna pull up this website for this demonstration purpose we are not doing that it's a pretty straightforward process but that is important so at this point now if you had your HTML website and you wanted to share with anyone you could do that um, there are a few other options for API configuration and such which currently we don't need to talk about for uh, for our demonstration purposes but this is a static website through Azure App Services thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video Please go ahead and click on the subscribe button.